All right, all right, all right, all right. We are, uh, I don't know, a little bit over three weeks, uh, maybe done with the third week of having the pond up and running. Uh, you can see the pond is actually looking pretty good. Um, I actually threw three new fish in there. Uh, you're gonna see an all white one right around there. You're gonna see an orange and white one, and then down below there, uh, you're gonna see a white, orange, gray, black one. Um, he was a little bit hard to see until I got the water a little bit more clear. Uh, actually, today I woke up and the water was really clear. Um, again, the pond is still cycling. Uh, I was watching the pond get a little bit darker and I wasn't liking it, so uh, I threw in a bunch of beneficial bacteria uh, the other day. And actually, it was Thursday night, I threw in a bunch of beneficial bacteria and it immediately, immediately got cleared up. Uh, cleared up enough that you can see the thousands of toad tadpoles that uh, I showed at the end of my last video. You'll see, uh, I said, I think we know what that was when you see strings of eggs all around the, um, the, the down shoots of the lilies or the roots of the lilies. That was what they turned into. They turned into toads or toad tadpoles. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a couple thousand toads uh, coming up here. Otherwise, everything's doing great with the pond. It's doing its thing. The water's looking good. Um, but I want to do a little bit more for aeration. As it's getting in the 90s uh, in the daytime, uh, I hear a lot of people talking about, uh, you know, that's when they lose fish because they don't have enough oxygen. So, yes, we do have a waterfall. You can see the waterfall is creating some bubbles. That is some oxygen. It's moving the water around a little bit. But I don't know that it's enough. Uh, so I went ahead on Amazon and grabbed some Aquascape. Um, I grabbed their two outlet aeration kit. It comes with uh, two aeration pods or pads and then the pump. And uh, Dominic here, my son, is going to help me place these guys today and see if we can get a little bit more aeration in the pond. Uh, this is probably going to be a real quick one. Uh, essentially what I'm thinking is over in the deep section or right on top of the... Uh, you're going to see some rocks right about there. Yeah, that's actually a little cave that I built for the fish. I just cut a uh, uh, pot in half, like a planter pot, and I threw some rocks on top of that. I don't think they've even gone inside it yet, but uh, nonetheless, I think I'm going to put something around there, whether it's on the floor of the pond or if it is uh, on top of those rocks. I'm not 100% sure yet. And then maybe I might put something kind of over here on the edge of the shelf where the lily pads are and get a little bit more flow over there. Uh, but essentially, I think we're just gonna be dumping these in, run an airline to them, and then uh, run electrical to the pump. So uh, we're gonna see, this is a very, very simple setup. You're just gonna have your 120 volt from the house power uh, to your pump. And you're gonna see the pump has two outlets there for air hose. Uh, you're gonna get your two and these are pretty long. These probably got to be at least 20 feet or so uh, Air hose with a one-way check valve already built in and then you're gonna get your uh, two uh, air pads uh, You're gonna put the air hose in here and then um, Basically, it's just gonna blow air out through this uh, ceramic disc or whatever this is that is perforated uh, So let's go ahead and figure this out and get going and over to the filter area, this is where I'm actually going to house the uh, air pump. Uh, you can see electrical right there already. I still got to figure out, I think I'm going to get some kind of like a uh, uh, hose container, like a thing where you can throw your garden hose into to kind of hide this. And I'm going to throw the pump in there because the pump you actually don't want exposed to the elements. Apparently they are not outdoor friendly. Uh, so I'm going to put that in there probably with the filter as well. And I'm going to drill some holes in the side. Uh, to be able to get the hoses out and kind of contain this a little bit better and still kind of keep an area back here where I can keep their food and, and keep the electrical lines and stuff uh, from getting wet. That electrical cord hanging down there right behind the filter. Go ahead and plug that in over there. It's probably gonna fire up and start making noise right away. All right, so it is making noise already. Right. Go ahead and unplug it. All right, so we know the pump works. That's good. All right, so let's plan how we're gonna do this. 
All right, so Dominic has one of the aeration discs and he has the line. Uh, Dominic, go ahead and plug that line into the end of the aeration disc. And probably got to use some force to get that on there. All right, go ahead and undo the wire tie. All right, I'll take that wire tie. And where do you want to drop the disc at? Go ahead and drop the disc in and just hold the line. So we're going to want the flat part down. So we want to put it on top of the rocks. Maybe in between those rocks. Where? Up in, up in front of them. See where they go into a triangle? Uh, oh. Right now, up on the other side front side there right you go yeah so you can either dump it on top of the rocks there or we can dump it in the front over there remember you probably don't want it to be visible maybe I'll be careful on those rocks there yep so you probably want to get it flat so look oh, so I think we might have found our first snag with the... Oh, no, it is going to lay flat. Okay. I was going to say, I think I did hear that these do have a hard time laying flat. All right. Let's see how that one looks. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Go ahead and throw the other end of the line all the way down here. And then we'll plug it in. Now, feed it across the back. Just be very careful. You can throw the line over here. It was my fault I didn't catch it. All right, so we're gonna feed this around the back. And if you wanna walk across the back here, Dominic, I'll let you plug everything in and then we'll just kinda, we might have to move these around a little bit to see how they're gonna go. All right, go ahead and plug that in to one of the ports on the front of the pump. Hmm? See, there's ports on the front of the pump. Look, the blue things. Oh. There you go. All right, that's good. Let's see what kind of air comes out. Let's go ahead and plug power back into that. And let's see if we get some bubbles coming out of this thing. So far, I'm not seeing any bubbles. Maybe it takes a little bit to get through all that hose. Huh. That's weird. All right, let's try this again. No. All right, so valuable lesson learned. Dominic, go ahead and show me that arrow. So that arrow is the check valve, if you can see that. The check valve is actually supposed to go towards the pump, so there's no air going that way. That check valve is supposed to, that's blocking water. That's supposed to block water from going back up into the pump. So go ahead and unplug that line over there. Oh, we put it backwards? Yep, we put it backwards. And I'm gonna trade lines with you here. I thought that the check valve went closest to the source and not closest to the destination. So Dominic's going to plug that line back in over there and I'm going to plug this back in over here. All right, so Dominic's going to drop it back in the water where he wants it to go. And we're going to see how this works out. Do you want to try and put it on top of the rocks or you want to put it where we had it? I'm trying to put it back where it was. Uh, you know what? Put it on top of the rocks. Let's see how it works out over there. Put it in between where those rocks, there you go. Try to set it in there. There you go. Now we're cooking with gasoline. All right, let's plug this puppy back in here. Now the pump sounds like it's doing something. All right, now we got some aeration. Uh, this don't put out a ton of bubbles. I thought, oh, look, the fish, fish are like, ooh, what's this? What is that, fishies? They're like, all right, this is kind of cool. I'm kind of digging this. Do you like it there on top of the rock? Uh, if we can get it a little bit more flat and tuck it. Yeah. Okay. Oopsie. 
Huh? I can't see. Now you can't see it. <laughs> we'll, t we'll tuck it then. Um, but I'm gonna try and get it maybe a little bit more flat. That's probably our, look, they're going over to it. They're like, oh, what is this? Are you gonna put the rocks over the wire? Yeah, so we're gonna tuck the uh, we're gonna tuck the tubing in there. Let's go ahead and see where we want to place the second one. I'm thinking somewhere over here, maybe. Uh, but let's just kind of wing it and see where it goes. All right. So I'm thinking if we move these lily pads a little bit, kind of throw it. See where the edge. See where the edge of that ledge is over there. Over here. Try and drop it. Drop it over in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, go ahead and plug it in. Let's see what it looks like there. And then we can work on hiding the uh, hiding the tubes. So that's where the fish like to hang out, and my fear is that we're not going to see the fish if we keep it there. So I may end up tucking it back more, um, but they do like it. They're going towards it. All right, so I moved the other aeration disc a little bit in front of their um, their little hideaway, and it's it's giving good water movement around here. Um, it is making it a little bit harder to see them down in that area because there's a lot more turbulence. It's kind of why I don't want to keep it there because that's where they like to come up and see us. And over here they like to come up and see us. Um, I think I may kind of move this to the back side a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I do want to make it so we can still interact with the fish good. They do like to hang out up in this area and come and see us. So I don't want to mess with that. Um, and they do kind of like going up on their shelves and eating the tadpoles. Let me think about this for a little bit. Um, we'll probably start hiding. We're going to start hiding the tubing. I'm going to follow the same route I did with the line um, for the pump. And then kind of get that back in that area. Alright, so now I'm going through and hiding the uh, tubing. Uh, I think I got them where I want them settled. And now again, we're going to hide it along the lines of uh, where the actual hosing is. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it away from any of the sharp rocks to avoid this tubing getting messed up. And then I'm probably going to have to throw some more rock back here because I'm finding a bunch of empty spots. Come on over here and report on it. So as you're going to see, I'm just picking up rocks and placing them back down to try and hide this. I'm going to keep it along the wall line, I think. It's probably the best idea. And again, we'll just drop some rock in there and try and hide it as best as I can. Alright, so we got some rocks in place to try and hide that again. I still got to figure out this rock situation because I'm not fully in love with it yet. But you get the gist of it. You obviously want to hide the lines and make them invisible, make it look natural. Uh, we have the pump over here on top of the filtration unit. And I use those wire ties to just kind of bundle them up. And I'm going to get something today in some fashion uh, to... Um, hold the pump and the filter and and all this stuff to try and clean up this back area here so i'm going to take some measurements and see if i can find something at lowe's or home depot uh, like i said i'm thinking it's probably going to end up being like a hose holder um, but i'm not entirely sure yet um, you're going to see in the pond uh, these are actually doing quite a bit more uh, aeration than i thought they were gonna um, actually does look pretty good and uh, I think I have the cover on the side of the GoPro, so we'll go ahead and get it in the water and we'll see what it looks like in the water. 
All right, let's give her a dunk. So it seems like a fish definitely like the camera. What do you say, Dominic? Yeah. Are you happy with the outcome? Yeah. Yeah, you think we put them in a good spot? Yeah. All right, we're gonna see how the fish like it uh, for a couple days and do some adjustments if need be, but I think everything's looking good. Dominic, thank you for your help. Thank you for being on my video today. And uh, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, again, this is my winging it pond build. I don't have any clue what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it and doing research as I go for other videos on YouTube and other forums and Facebook groups. I think I'm doing an all right job, but you guys tell me down below uh, if I'm royally screwing this up, I would like to know. Otherwise, fingers crossed, fish seem to be happy and uh, kind of just adjusting with uh, the direction of the wind and um, seeing if everything goes well. So uh, go ahead and say goodbye to the fish and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, please like and subscribe and if you like this content uh, please let me know and I will include more pond content. Uh, otherwise we'll move on to the next subject matter as uh, more projects arise.